hello and welcome back so last video we have understand about uh, state management in the functional component as well as the class component now in this video we are going to understand about how to configure bootstrap for your react.js okay uh, so i have open uh, webstrom uh, in this we have a uh, two components so let me take a backup of these two components and then we'll start creating a bootstrap configuration and we'll see few examples also so first of all how you take a backup is you go inside the folder which you have created uh, in uh, in react.js youtube i'll create a folder called uh, 03 hyphen react js hyphen state because we discussed the state concept and source code goes to be all this copy them go here and paste it okay so first step you have taken a backup on the name of the react this state management and then now uh, now the first step you can change whatever you want right so i have opened back uh, uh, the first step in this i don't need the components as of now i'll i'll use maybe uh, different components so i delete this components folder as of now not required and app.js also i was configured them so i remove them okay so now it's clearly empty uh, app component so and uh, i'll start the application as well npm start okay so it will start meanwhile how to configure a bootstrap is you have to install bootstrap setup in your system so thing is you go inside you go inside um okay you go you go to google and just type for bootstrap npm okay so you can go to the official bootstrap website you go inside official bootstrap website for downloads page uh, somewhere you can find yeah package manager this is the command to install a bootstrap uh, meanwhile my application has st started my application has started that's fine yeah so let me also open a notepad in this so how to install a bootstrap to your application is npm install bootstrap okay so this is the one i'm going to install uh, so i'm back here um what i do is before you start installation you must start the you must stop the server so i'll stop it for a while i'll paste it enter npm install bootstrap so this will install the bootstrap uh, library to your project and then you have to configure it in your project okay it will take few moments okay after bootstrap come on it's not even started okay after bootstrap i want to use one more that is font awesome uh, font awesome is actually for uh, icons bootstrap also provides now uh, bootstrap 5 onwards it also provides uh, inbuilt icons but i mostly use uh, the font awesome icons so i want to use install uh, font awesome icons okay for font awesome icons also you have a url uh, go to google and search for font uh, awesome npm okay so there is a, a font awesome npm uh, I just copy that paste it this is the you can just say npm i font awesome or npm install font awesome okay so let's check is that bootstrap is finished yeah bootstrap is finished 5.1.3 has come uh, that's a current version of bootstrap now and then I install uh, font awesome as well I'll copy and paste it enter so this also gets download and after that I want to have some Google fonts so I want to use some Google font it was already using some Roboto font um, 
uh, not Roboto. We have given some Arial font. Okay, so let's use some Google font, something called uh, Ubuntu. Okay, Ubuntu font I'll be using for my whole of uh, the application. Okay, so for Ubuntu font, uh, I'll tell you uh, it is installed, right? Yeah, super done. Okay, I'll tell you how to come, how to add uh, Google fonts. First of all, yeah, we install Bootstrap and we install Font Awesome, right? So how to configure them and where to configure them? And uh, the very first thing, whenever you install any particular package, so that package resides an entry in package.json. When you see, uh, see Bootstrap and the Font Awesome both are listed here. Okay, and those are installed inside a Node Modules folder. Okay, and then how to configure them is you go straight to index.js this is the main startup file for your react.js application so in this i'll write a comment for a bootstrap uh, plus font awesome configuration okay so i write import statement yeah i'll tell you for bootstrap you have to inst you have to connect one CSS file and one .js file. You have to configure. Uh, you have to import, and for this one CSS file, you need to add. That's all. Okay. Thing is, so import from my Bootstrap folder from Node modules in the dist folder distribution CSS Bootstrap .css. This is one thing, and also import um, Bootstrap slash this folder slash js js the script slash bootstrap bundle dot js bundle dot js so this is required these two are enough to configure a bootstrap and after that i want to configure a font awesome icons that is simple import uh, inside you say font awesome slash css slash font awesome dot css that's all so you get a font awesome icons okay and moreover how to add a google fonts so google fonts nothing to install separately using npm you just need to add some uh, import statement of it so if you want to add a google font just go to uh, google and search for google fonts yeah in this google fonts i'll be searching for ubuntu okay i got a ubuntu and in this you can select the required fonts uh, i select this one this one this one so first three i selected light 300 italic and 400 so for all the selection i got some link tag or import statement you may use a link tag or import statement i select the import statement in that i'll just copy only the import statement i'll copy the import statement and where do we add it and what is your uh, global style sheet is index.css so on top of my index.css i'll add that okay i have pasted in the at the top of index.css and also please check the font family was using arial sans serif so i want to use my ubuntu font so below this font family you have so let's copy the font family and i'll replace in the place of font family of body tag i'll paste it here okay and also let's make it is important uh, because by default bootstrap is using uh, roboto but i want to replace that also with ubuntu that's why this extra save it done and let me start the application 10 pm start yeah it is started and please check the font has been applied okay uh, that's fine and now i what my plan is i don't need this navbar styles because this is using css we have written we don't not required because we are now using bootstrap so i don't need the card styles i don't need the navbar style because i can start using a bootstrap for it and this is okay for font family now i go to app.js now bar is there okay I, I remove the styles right like this so i want to convert this like a proper nav bar that to using a bootstrap so you can simply 
check how bootstrap uh, has been configured or not confirmation you may write a button uh, with some classes classes btn btn minus success and btn minus uh, the say is success let's say login so you get the bootstrap button okay let's have one more button bootstrap primary just say register yeah so two bootstrap buttons has come okay but only one problem is there is no space between the buttons uh, that you can fix using dot btn dot btn just give some margin of five pixels okay that's fine we got some two buttons okay now uh, I confirm bootstrap has working and then let's make this guy as a proper nav bar okay so how you make a nav bar is uh, bootstrap classes I'll write an anchor tag first just say slash and what is this mm, app component okay so I'll give you a bootstrap classes if you're not sure about bootstrap you do visit my bootstrap tutorial or playlist in my youtube channel uh, I have already made a lot of uh, examples and websites on uh, 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 bootstrap so I'll show you you go to playlist once and where you can find somewhere uh, uh, bootstrap okay you read about this you understand the bootstrap styles okay so um, navbar navbar dark and bg dark and navbar expand sm okay you get a dark color navbar and what about the anchor tag anchor tag you give the class called uh, navbar brand the brand name okay looks good so you got a proper navbar okay but i don't need this <clears throat> looks like app component i want to change this as a um, react with bootstrap styles the react with the bootstrap styles okay fine uh, because this indicates what is the concept we are discussing that one okay and now uh, to, to confirm the icons as well you will write an i tag i tag with the class fa minus fa minus user circle so you get a user circle icon if you want to have a bigger image just say 4x see it has come and if you want to have some facebook icon uh, class name is FAB is a brand FA Facebook okay so Facebook is not displaying uh, maybe you miss something to add okay one one online CSS file you need to add maybe that link was missing not only just installation you have to load a online CSS file I guess okay I have a link of it one second just go to font uh, this one use dot font awesome dot com releases 5.8.1 CSS all dot CSS so this link you need to add extra where is go to your uh, public folder index or HTML somewhere before the title you paste link tag href is this one this you need to add it and you wish you can download it also locally done so you just need to add this extra uh, you can pause the video and check this link to be added so once it is added you go and uh, refresh see you got a Facebook icon okay and uh, yeah you want to have some bigger fa minus 4x so facebook icon you want to have a color just say text uh, primary you get the facebook color okay so bootstrap has configured and also the font has come and also the icons has come okay so this is how you can configure bootstrap 
for your react js and then see in the next example uh, let's make some uh, good component with bootstrap styles thank you so much for joining and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you